Experts say two out of every three people with depression aren't helped by the first antidepressant they're prescribed. What if you knew which medicines would work best for you specifically? In this week's Health Smart, Fox 43's Amy Lutz looks at one company's DNA test that claims to be able to do just that. And we just do one side here and one side there. A simple cheek swab claims to give patients an individualized look at which medications are best suited for their mental health based on their DNA. There may be an issue where genetically their body is not clinically responding. They can be a hyper metabolizer or under metabolizing or maybe that drug just isn't right for them. Dr. Teresa Burek uses the gene site test at her Mechanicsburg practice to help patients like Abby and Moden. She has struggled with anxiety and depression for as long as she can remember. All of the drugs that I had tried in the past were not a good fit for my DNA. Abby's swab was sent to a lab where a computer analyzed her DNA and created a list of which medications are best for her. As you can see, green, yellow and red. Every single medicine that she would, had tried before was on the no-no list. It showed only two medications being a proper fit to treat her condition, neither of which she had tried. You feel like you have hope. You don't feel hopeless anymore. Dr. Burek says tests like GeneSight are important because with each medication a patient tries that doesn't work, their chance for remission goes down significantly. It may really change the life and the course of somebody's depression if we at least know how to, how to manage it. After trying one of the two medications on the list, Abby says she's gotten her life back. It went really well. I had virtually no side effects that I that I could think of. The FDA has not yet approved gene sight, but Dr. Burek says the proof is in her patients. The results have been amazing um, and really not only life altering, but life saving. And Abby agrees. I am at my best that I've been in a long time and I'm so thankful. So thankful. Dr. Burek said Medicare covers the cost of gene site testing and most private insurances do cover some of the cost as well. I've put more information about the test on our website, fox43.com. With your Health Smart Report, Amy Lutz, Fox 43 News.